all right everybody welcome to yet another angular 2 tutorial in which i'm gonna show you how to add some sessions to your login application so that we can just play around with the user and just kick out those who are directly accessing our administrator area so first of all let's just see what we have done so far so in my login component i'm just redirecting the user to admin area if the username is admin and password is admin as well well that kind of looks cool but actually everybody can access this admin area if it loads like this so we need to somehow create some sort of sessions so well, what i can do at this level is that i can just simply base64 encode the username and password and just concatenate them and then again encode them but actually this is a stupid logic trust me you would never ever make use of base64 encoding for creating a session key out of your username and password you would kind of make use of some hash algorithms like you know SHA encryption or something like that might be MD5 as well but base64 I'm just making use of that because uh, you know just doing an MD5 encryption with JavaScript would be kind of you know require a little bit of code so base64 we do have a built-in function with Chrome I guess actually so this is a to B ABC uh, no so the B2A function actually just creates a base64 version of that and A to B just decodes that so I'm gonna say key is equal to A to actually B2A of data uh, let's just say you name is this dot data dot username and pass is this dot data dot password so that it's easy to use later on so I'm gonna say key is B to a username then I want a question mark two question marks in between because base 64 doesn't include question marks so I'm gonna say B to a password and then I'm gonna finally do a B to a to this whole thing so now I'm gonna say console log this dot data console log key and uh, let's just change this to you name and password only why not so if I just go to my home page now and hit enter admin admin hit enter reference error you name is not defined okay let's just keep it to war you name and war password admin admin hit enter uh, okay or key here we go bro then again final try hit enter we get this key now if I just go back to A to B then I get this then what I can do is X is A to B this thing dot split double question marks zero and we get this and if I do like a to B of X we get the admin so that's how pretty much I'm just getting some information from my session key right here and uh, pretty much what we can do with this is that we can just simply authenticate the users and how well I can just set this as my cookie in the browser now yes we can make use of the local storage but I would like to teach you how to make use of cookies only because in a real world application you'll be making use of cookies to authenticate the user pretty much because browser automatically sends cookies to the response and that's kind of helpful so let me just quit the bash job for now and let's just say npm install ng2 cookies now this is a dependency which would help us to work with cookies yes you can work with cookies with normal JavaScript as well but this kind of makes it easier and why not just make use of it when we are making use of 
angular 2 so now what I want to do is right here right import cookie from ng2 cookies I guess this should be the name of module uh, B C D E F G H I J K M and uh, here we go so yes this is but I need to restart sublime to view its contents well I don't want to view its contents I know that this is ng2 cookies only so we have included that and then what I can do is I can say cookie dot set cookie and then I can say that this is my session ID and the value would be the key so now we are transferring data from one page to another and then in my admin.ts we need to perform a check in here with these cookies so I'm just gonna oh this should be cookie actually so I'm just gonna set um, this cookie right here in session ID and I'm gonna retrieve that sim cookie right here and I'm gonna just reverse engineer that and check whether the username and password matches admin or not and if they do then just continue with this component and if they don't then just redirect the user to a login page or some other page and that's pretty much what's left in this application because if that's if that thing is done then what just we need to do is that we need just an else block here and then this dot router actually dot navigate to dashboard area we just need that and again we do have the cookie set in so we can retrieve the user information from that and pretty much do whatever we want to do so that's the only thing left and that's the end of this tutorial as well so if you liked it then don't forget to subscribe and thank you for watching